right, deck tech for, uh, all right, so, yeah, basically this is the deck tech, uh, for, uh, continuing with Bone Crusher Prowess, or Bone Crusher, sorry, Bone Crusher, uh, Obosh, um, Obosh Hammer, it's called Obosh Hammer because sometimes we're not playing DRC, like right now, and, you know, there is something basically to like about, I think, the fact that, uh, if we're not playing Pirate Spellbomb in the main, then, you know, obviously Stop can take its place, which, you know, both of them basically are burnt spells that only can go online by turn two. Uh, and that means that, you know, maybe we don't need to play, uh, I mean, yeah, we don't need to play DRC, which means maybe we can play main deck Relic, you know? it's Relic can be a little bit, uh, tricky because, you know, it's a little bit of a non bow with Hammer, but then again, you know, Blood Moon's a little bit of a non bow with our utility lands. Never really, never really, like, prevented us from from playing around it, so, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see how this one can work, I'm back on the, I'm back on the four mages in the sideboard for, uh, ensnaring, I mean, you know, two ensnaring bridge, I just find that I think, I think in this meta, it's just really nice to have more moon effects, especially with all these versus saga decks running around, I actually find there's also a lot of, there's a number of matchups where I'd rather have mages of the moon, um, rather than Blood Moon, because I can actually kill my own Mages of the Moon if I need to uh, unlock Blast Zone. Um, Hammer Time definitely is the key example there. Uh, it almost makes me wonder if I should be trying to play Mages of the Moon in the main deck, but it's just there are certain matchups, you know, like Jund and whatnot, that, um, yeah, if they've got a decent amount of red, Blood Moon is, I mean, you know, Mages of the Moon isn't really a hard lock. On the other hand, on the other hand, you know, maybe I'm not as soft to those decks because of Blast Zone. But uh, I still just like the way sometimes Blood Moon just locks up the game and then, and then you know, the game just goes quick. Uh, I do like my quick my quick matches. But there are some matchups like uh, Hammer Time, though, where... Um, yeah, there are some matchups like... Uh, sorry, for a second I was worried it wasn't recording. Yeah, there are some matchups like, um, oh, sorry, the microphone was a little farther away, but yeah, there are some matchups like, uh, Hammer Time, though, where, um, where I, uh, I am very concerned about playing Blood Moon because I rely on Blast Zone a lot, but then sometimes I need to play, like, a Moon Effect just to deal with an Urza Saga, you know, but then maybe we just rely on sideboarding in those matchups. It's hard to say, and there are there there's so many times that I kind of just juked a free win with Blood Moon, also including against like Blue Red, you know, is it uh, Murktide? I mean, you'd be surprised. Like more often than you'd think, you know, sometimes I just drop Blood Moon and they don't happen to have any islands, or they have one island, so they can never play Murktide, which is huge and changes the game, like completely changes the balance of how the game plays out. So, yeah, um, I think it makes sense. Blood Moon in the main, Magus in the side. I'm back on four Magus, because I just think, like, you know, the eight Moon and four Pillage package, I think that just gives us kind of the best the best game against uh, against almost anything. You know, it gives us the ability to juke wins where we otherwise might not have been able to. Yeah, and Snaring Bridge, though, can be very critical against, like, the uh, Rhinos deck, though, because, like, yeah, uh, we're very unlikely to draw more than one. And if we uh, deploy just one, then we're just waiting for them to, to draw into a uh, Brazen Borrower. Whereas if we have multiple, we could try to play out multiple, and then they have to draw multiple Brazen Borrowers. And yeah, you know how that goes. Anyway, I think, uh, I do think overall, you know, I think we just need to accept that the, uh, the Rhino matchup is probably not as good of a matchup as we thought initially. Uh, it's probably a bad matchup, but it's like it is winnable. It just kind of depends on like how many rhino producing things they they draw. But like, yeah, I mean even chalice. Chalice is ideal because you can play it on zero, like the tur on the turn before turn three. But even then, they can play force of negation, which is also zero mana, and then they can just end a turn brazen borrow it. Like you know, e even chalice of the void isn't perfect, but it. The fact that it's zero mana does make it head and shoulders better than a snaring bridge. Anyway, let's see if uh, let's see how this goes. And um, oh yeah, and I forgot we're trying out Needle Verge Pathway. Uh, you know, it seems pretty free because we're already basically um, playing. You know, I mean, it doesn't make a difference under Blood Moon. Uh, I'm just thinking that you know, in reality, almost all the colors 
other than maybe blue, we can um, we can basically pay, play their cards off of just one color. But white has a lot of two white cards. Like mainly, I'm kind of thinking when we play against Burn, you never know. One of these days, we might we might uh, snag a core Firewalker off their top. So you know, being able to play this as a white land, which probably won't come up that much, to be honest. But uh, this also opens up the possibility of maybe playing Wear Terror in the sideboard at some point in the future. I don't know. I might be overthinking this, but Hammer Time is everywhere, so you know, maybe maybe that's another consideration. But we'll just get turned off by Blood Moon, or turned back into a red land. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of playing this card, Needle Verge Pathway, uh, as opposed to like... Um, the blue-red one is another consideration, but if nothing else, one thing I like about the white-red one, I mean, there's a green-red a green uh, red one, but, you know, I don't really need green at all, so, because there's, there's almost nothing that's, like, double green. Um, but, yeah, I like uh, I like Needle Verge Pathway because um, because if, for whatever reason, this gets Flicker Wisped or something, like, if this leaves play and comes back into play, it'll come back into play as the red land. So there's almost no downside since, you know, what are we worried about? Blood Moon? It's like... Yeah, there's almost no downside to uh, to playing this. All right, anyway, let's see how the games go. Um, thank you, everybody. Smash that like button if you like this. And, uh, you know, thanks to the patrons. Thanks to everybody who likes and watches and comments. And everybody is appreciated a lot. I love I love that, uh, that a lot of you are enjoying this, too. Um, yeah, so shout out coming up if it, uh, you know, coming up shortly if it hasn't, you know... Um, if it's not, uh, if it hasn't already happened. So yeah. All right. Take care, everybody. Let's see how the games go. All right. Uh, take care. All right. Match. Match one. Let's uh, let's see. And let's see if these pathways make a difference. I kind of think like. You know, maybe maybe white is one of the more common types of colors that has double white. Although double blue. Blue has a lot of reactive cards, though. <clears throat> anyway, at least the dream of uh, stealing a, a burn player is a core firewalker. <clears throat> maybe, maybe the dream lives on. Alrighty. Alright, let's see. Yeah, because look, Hammer is... Hammer is still just absolutely all over the place. So having those pathways, you know, might just help cast more of their stuff. You never know. I have to hold up a uh, stomp, though. No ifs and or buts about that. Alrighty. Even if I don't uh, get anything from their top that I can play, still, just the treasure tokens are so valuable. Alright. See, I can cast that with the pathway, but... Alright. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's bone crush. Alrighty. Stoneforge Mystic. Eh, Stoneforge Mystic doesn't actually offer that much because I can't really. Because <clears throat> I can't actually uh, fetch anything. I don't have any equipment. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, Blast Zone should maybe uh, seal the deal. Let's see. One, two, three, but then I can't uh, play Blast Zone. Let's, uh,. Let's do this, shall we? It might block Ragavan. Okay.
All right, we'll play Blast Zone because, you know. Now let's see. We could play Flame Slash, and then, and then Stomp, and then actually still, uh, <coughs> still hold up uh, Blast Zone. We could. We could just play Flame Slash and then, uh, and then pop the. Uh, Yeah, I think lots of good things happen if we do this. Okay. Alrighty. I think with Blast Zone, we're in a very good spot right now. Let's just do this. Ready. Slowly but surely. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <clears throat> um, I guess the safest bet would be to just, uh, would just be to just blow up the, uh, yeah. Just in case they have some kind of zero mana something. Okay, Blood Moon comes out for Magus. We need a way to deal with Urza Saga, but we do not, yeah, but we do not want to, uh, we definitely need Pirate Spell Bomb. I think Hammer is overrated, because uh, they have, they bring in their, um, what you call it. <coughs> Alright, and we'll bring in uh, Pillage. I mean, there is some consideration for Relic, especially now that we don't have Hammer. But I think Flame Slash is still going to be a little better, although Sorcery Speed is a big problem. Yeah. We might just need extra cards to pitch to uh, Fury. I think this is the way to go. Alrighty. Alright, we will keep. Let's see. See what they got in store for us. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Well, if we draw an untapped source, which we didn't. If we played this as the pathway, we could have played Sanctifier, but it's okay. Um, we just play this and this. <coughs> so 
see what they go get. Shadow Spear, not bad. Well, it's uh, I don't I don't know what they do with that. I mean, I guess I'll play Lightning Bolt, right? Because I mean, if they put uh, Hammer on it, Hammer will fall off. Seems like a gross use, you know, gross waste of hammer. Okay. Alrighty. Giver of Rune seems pretty darn good. And I may want to put Obosh to hand too. Actually, yeah, but I can I can uh, give this protection. All right. Yeah, giving Ragavan protection seems very good. Alrighty. Spring leaf drum actually might be pretty good. Let's see, do we play anything? Not sure we want to play me just yet. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yeah, what an anticlimactic hammer game. Okay, so it goes sometimes. All right. All right, match two. Okay, we got some more pathways to see if that makes a difference. White is not necessarily the most common color though. These might just be better off as basics. I don't know. No, I mean, some there's we might have some white to work with. Uh, Bugbear, Ragavan. Let's see here. Ooh. Yeah, it wasn't sure if they were playing uh, Hammer Time. Um, I guess we... I guess in theory, if we draw another Flame Slash, maybe we... Uh, Oh, well, uh, but Welding Jar can't weld the giver. Well, good thing they didn't get the uh, Shadow Spear. Oh, maybe they got Shadow Spear in hand. Well, you'd think they'd go get Shadow Spear, wouldn't you? But anyway, bottom line, though, is I can't actually finish this off anymore, though. We came close, but... No cigar. <clears throat> Just not used to black white hammer time. I would have flame slashed on turn one if I would have. I thought it was going to be like a stone blade type deck. I think they're so clever. <clears throat> Alrighty.
player named Cheesy is playing a Cheesy deck. I guess it's fitting. Oh, why is Pyrite Spell Bomb not in here? Oh, probably because Relic still is. Uh, well, you know, maybe it just wasn't meant to be this time. We'll see. attack. I'll play another Ragavan if they block. Alright. Alrighty. <coughs> Alrighty. Maybe I play Magus. Sigarda's Aid. I, I don't really have any use for Sigarda's Aid. Maybe they can't play uh, any white spells anymore. Ah, oh, they can. But maybe they can't play any. I don't know. Pure Steel Paladin. Alright, I'm going to attack. They'll probably block the Ragavan, but I can just play the uh, another one. Okay. Uh, oh, I still got Hammer in here. Did I like not sideboard or something? Or I, I I don't know what kind of funky sideboarding happened here. But whatever it was, I guess it was good enough this time. <clears throat> Quick anticlimactic game two, but you know, hey, hopefully we've got a interesting game three, although not too interesting. I'll just I'll just take a win without it being very interesting. Yeah, I don't think I need hammer. High right, bone crusher, magus, pillage, flame slash, yeah. Because at the end of the day, the uh, at the end of the day, the the hammers are most likely just going to get eaten up by the uh, sanctifier and vex. Nice that they're a little more vulnerable to uh, to moon effects this time, and it is nice in games two and three that I can make my moon effects more manageable for myself. Alrighty. I don't want to tap out. I think I'll lightning bolt that. Hold up stomp. I guess I'll stomp this. I mean, I don't see how they save it. Alrighty. And I guess I play Magus. <coughs> and get a 2-2. There's a token. Sigarda's aid could be a problem. Uh, 
already. Um, All right, let's see. Alrighty, well, maybe I can kill Memnite. Yeah, maybe I can kill Memnite. Alrighty. I think that's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Should have bone crushed. Alright. And we will stomp. We will play Bone Crusher. And we will probably have a very, 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 very good next turn with our Obosh friend. So Gardazade could have used that probably a long time ago, they're saying. A lot of damage. Big damage. Wow. Alrighty, so I guess we take it against uh, Hammer Time. They got us in game one, we got them in games two and three. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, match three, let's see how this one goes. We're 2 0, let's see if. Alright, I can do better than this, I think. Blast Zone definitely looks nice and tidy, though. Alright, cool. Uh. Um, Fury could be good, but I'd rather have some backup Blood Moons. Maybe I shouldn't uh, be so all in on Blood Moon. I just had a feeling this was like a Jun type deck. Don't ask me how, I just had a feeling. Alright, uh, I guess I'll play Relic. You don't want this being discarded. This is a key card in this matchup, and we happen to be playing it main. See if they ragadash us. Hmm. Are they mana screwed? Or just deciding to what play what land to play next turn? Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's uh exile this. Very good use of Spike Field Hazard, if I do say so myself. I do like it. I like it very much. Alrighty. Oh, Grist. Okay. The Hunger Tide. Let's see. Well, hopefully we can prevent Turok from doing Turok things with Blood Moon. Alrighty. I am Turok! Alrighty.
probably add mana. Well, or just deal, deal us two damage, I guess. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. I guess I should probably play Bone Crusher. Although, realistically, I'll just play Seasoned. I really don't want this card getting discarded. And we do get another token for our trouble, and yeah, see. It's not bad. <sighs> Alright, bye bye, Bone Crusher Giant, I'm guessing. If they try to destroy the Season Pyromancer, I might just crack the Relic and respond, because i got a lot of Graveyard action going on. might just crack the uh, Relic anyway. Yeah, maybe I wait on cracking. Let's see here. Yeah, because then I can flame slash, then crack. Alright, should I just go all in on attacking the Chandra? Maybe so. Let's go all in on Chandra. Alrighty. I could hammer. Could play Obosh. Obosh is just gonna get eaten by an insect, though. So I guess I go like that. Too, but they actually don't have enough green mana for it though. Mm -hmm. Alright, season pyromancer time, I guess. Here it comes. I just have to. No, but this is just going to tick up. Let me discard. Uh, this kind of sucks. Uh. 
they could play Liliana, but yeah, just dinging me is probably worth more. I wonder if this is Jund or if this is that Super Friends deck. Only way I get out of this is Fury. Not get out of it, but I can ding the Chandra and, well, let's see what this gives me. Nothing good enough. Well, this is kind of a Jun deck, but it seems to be a little Planeswalker. Not as familiar facing off against this deck. I think an earlier season Pyromancer can really help do the trick. And Snaring Bridge could be too, although, the, although actually Snaring Bridge might not be as good when they are so reliant on those uh, Planeswalkers. I think replacing Flame Slash with Pyro Spell Bomb might be the way to go. Mages of the Moon might not be bad just to be an attacker, but no, I mean, at the end of the day, I think I need these, these cards to be what they are. I think I need them. Pillage, Pillage could have a place, but I, I really like the burn spells that go to Planeswalkers. I really do. In this, uh, in this matchup at least. Although pillaging them off their, uh, pillaging them off their basics actually might be pretty good too. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll come around to that games two and three. All right. Let's see. All right, I will relic you. All right, he. We're like you. Other relic. I'll probably crack one relic. I need I need better pitches with the pyromancer. I can't get and I can't have this be a maelstrom pulsed. Yeah, alright. Hopefully I can hard cast the Fury. Alright, Grist can definitely be a problem. I'm gonna play that out. Alrighty. Oh, let's see. Yeah, not too concerning. Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer. Um, yeah, I can Fury Bowl for them. 
So if they attack, I'll take. Alrighty. Alright, let's fury. The flames of fury. This is what I call card advantage. That was pretty brutal, if I do say so myself. Pretty brutal. Pretty gosh dang brutal. Alright, that got Maelstrom pulsed. It happened. Uh, I could dash with Ragavan, but, you know, why bother? Play this, play this, play this. Nice. Alright. We're doing our thing. We're gonna want to play the Blood Moon because they seem to be pretty immune to it. And I might get some pretty good value out of this Blast Zone. Alright, bye bye, Blood Moon. Alright, Collective Brutality. See if they take. If I want to use Blast Zone, I have to get rid of the Relic, which is not ideal. Could put Relic to two, but all right. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put Relic to two. I don't know. Relic on one could be good, but I haven't really seen them play any Ragavans yet. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's just cycle this now. Just because I don't want. So I have to deal with cycling that later. All right. We can flash it back. We got Blast Zone on two for Tomergoyf. Could continue going Blast Zone up, but I think putting it on two is probably where we want to be. <laughs> All right, I guess I will get rid of the mountain. Alrighty. And we can return hammer and play it. So, at this late stage in the game, this, this hammer represents a lot of value. I 
Let's see. Alrighty. Not bad. I don't know, Ensnaring Bridge still could have its its uses. I don't know though, because they have those uh all those um planeswalkers that got us the first time. That is the question. Is Ragavan really like really that reliable? Well, I'm gonna play Pillage anyway, just to, just to find out. I don't know. I don't know if Ragavan's reliable or not. I do know I've got 23 drop spells. If nothing else, Pillage can be pitched to Fury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you're going to play turn one uh, Noble Hierarch. Yeah. I would normally play Spike Field Hazard first, but I'm just a little bit worried about dashing Ragavan. Maybe I shouldn't be. Haven't played it all, all game last game. Plus, this would be an ideal pitch with Fury, too. I really need it. All right, there we go. I honestly was not expecting uh, a dashing raggy. Just goes to show you, you never know. So many planeswalkers. They must have like a lot of like one and two ofs or stuff and something in their deck. What is this? Tarmogoyf. Um Yeah. Uh I could stomp, but what's the point? Ragavan's a good one. Man, Hammer can be a great asset later in the game. I don't think Obosh is like really. Uh, I want. I want to dash so bad with Ragavan. All right, I'm doing it. I'm dashing. Swamp. Okay. Alrighty. Maybe I should have just discarded Obosh, I don't know. With their mana open, I don't think I want to just play Ragavan out. I'll just put this to hand. And I'll just uh, pass turn. And we'll start dashing next turn. Alrighty. Right, I'll play Obosh. All 
Alright, uh, Assassin's Trophy doesn't look like. I guess that's GG. They have a hard time dealing with my Obosh, like, I had a hard time dealing with Tarmogov in the past. They're stuck on two mana, which sucks. Which sucks, but it is what it is. Ready. All right, and I can return to hand, and I think play it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can return it to hand and play it next turn, assuming they don't take my pathway. Alrighty. I guess that's I guess that's three zero. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, match four. Hey, we're three and zero. Oh, Bosh, I choose you. Let's see if we can go four and zero. Ragavan, always, always a good, uh, always the ideal turn one play. And well, not always, but in, unless I'm dealing with a must answer creature on their side, always a must. A must. Ooh, I am feeling, I am feeling the Merfolk love. I'm feeling the Merfolk love. I, I'm feeling the folk. Oh, oh, I feel so warm inside. Um, I think I need to save Flame Slash for Svalun. Yeah, that just seems like the ideal card to play. Alrighty. Mm -hmm -hmm. I love Fairy Conclave. I love that I that art for our island. Alrighty. Alrighty. See if they play. Okay. Ooh, Brazen Borrower. That's a good one. I'll probably play it out. I mean, it's even odd costed. I think I gotta, I gotta play it out. It just seems very good. Oh no. I get that back to their hand. Well, I don't know. But then on the other hand, they don't uh, petty theft my uh, my Ragavan. Yeah, we could see that coming from a mile away. All right, we'll play this. More petty theft? Okay. All right, well, they hit us for two. Which is not too bad. You hit us for four. Mm, wrong Univault. Oh, that sucks when that happens. Oh my goodness. I think they're copying my list too. So it sucks when like mistakes like that happen. Uh, yeah, let's just attack. Uh, 
At the end of the day, I will flame slash this. I will play this. I will play this. And I'll play this. Yeah, of course, they'll play Brazen Borrower, which makes sense. I guess technically I could have played Fury, but I'll wait until. Um, yeah, actually, the funny thing is, Merfolk definitely has the ability to kind of, to kind of really, um, you know, finesse wins in situations that it doesn't look like it it can, you know. Hey, 24 lands, you know, they have they have the lands to work with, you know, what can I say? They've got the lands to work with. That is going to set me back. You see, at the end of the day, though, I can and I will use Fury to do Fury things. Maybe I... Right. Um, you know, the funny thing is I could play this, but uh, uh, let's see here. I just don't think Hammer is like as good. Alrighty. Oh, I guess I have double bolt here, but I don't know. We'll see. Could have had force negation. All right, Svalun. Svalun is always, always nice. Okay, so what we can do, they can animate a bunch of, you know what, let's just, uh, let's just attack. They have to block. The question is, do they want to turn their Muta Vaults in? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, uh, 
try, I guess, to... See there. Um, all right. Well, I still think we're in okay shape because I'm going to do this and I'm going to try to hit the. Uh, kind of an epic little struggle there. Alrighty. I could attack, but I don't want to. Instead, I want to play Lightning Bolt on their turn. <clears throat> yeah, just I, I know my list. My list has got counterspell, so just a little bit worried about that. Alrighty. Let's see here. I think I want to play Magus of the Moon probably instead of. But definitely I want Pillage, and I think against my list we definitely want, we want the full moon, if you know what I mean. Uh, do we want Magus? We don't actually play Dismember. They might be pack putting Dismember back in. Blood Moon, I mean why not just play Blood Moon? They, we don't, they don't actually have a lot of actual enchantment removal. They have to play Ratchet Bomb or something. Which they might be playing Ratchet Bomb. If they're playing my list, they're playing Ratchet Bomb. I love Ratchet Bomb. Although Blood Moon does get hit by Force Negation, so maybe maybe Magus is a little better. I don't know if they're bringing it in or not. I, I probably wouldn't bring it in. Uh, it's hard to say. But I have a feeling they're going to bring it in. Yeah, I'd probably bring in Force Negation. Because of Hammer Book Garden. Okay, let's see here. Oh, oh, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they're playing... Uh, I don't think they're playing um, Master of Waves. Alrighty, let's see. Hmm. Well, this is a little clunky, but we have mana, so far be it from us to complain. I will keep. And notice that they are not mulliganing either, because they have 24 lands. Since they believe in, you know, not being mana screwed. That Aether Vial is a little scary. That area, that... <clears throat> Aether Vial gives them the ability to do a lot of a lot of things. Mm. Uh, spreading seas ain't pretty. Spreading seas ain't pretty. This might not end well. That's how. This is why I um. I know I'm not playing Urion and Merfolk just because, like, the game is just so different here with Aether Vial. You know, look at look at this. Uh, yeah, geez, not being able to get any use out of these is kind of brutal. Not sure why they need to play that on their turn. Alrighty. Oh, 
Okay, so I got some choices. I think what I want to do, though, is play Magus of the Moon. They may have Counterspell, which would kind of suck. Okay. Um, that kind of is what it is. Oh, I would love to, to hit this with Flame Slash, but then it's gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah. They can just put play both Muta Vaults, or just one Muta Vault even. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tricky. I don't think I can do it. Uh, should I just give up? No, I mean, at least I can play this, maybe. Although, Counterspell would probably just put me out of my misery. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can... If I can survive long enough, but they draw so many cards. Oh, the tricky trick. Let's see, if I block this and this, then I take eight. Eight is not, is not good, but it's better than dying. Uh, alrighty. Well, definitely we gotta block this. Oh, well, I guess they got Island Walk. All right, forgot about that. So I'm one of those guys not respecting the, the our own Merfolk deck with the Island Walk. Well, uh, true. Uh, that maybe that hand was a mistake to keep, but uh, maybe Pirate Spell Bomb might actually be kind of kind of helpful too. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe hammer. I mean, hammer's good. Like hammer's good against uh, chalice. All those cards are good. Ragavan. Ragavan could just be so. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. That pirate spell bomb's good. I just I just don't. I just think I can do better. And you know, blast zone ain't half bad either. But I have to obviously have to have enough mana. I have enough disposable mana. Mm. Alrighty. Let's see here. Well, you know, say what you want. I've got mana, I've got spells. I got Blast Zone. You know what? Maybe I should have used Blast Zone a little bit more. Um, last game, I was kind of treating it like just a colorless source. It's very much a utility card. No, not Aether Vow, please. Okay, good, good. Oh, it's Cease Claim. Haven't seen that one in a while. Hmm. You know, I'm just a little bit worried about another, uh, another Spreading Seas, so I'm just going to play out Blast Zone. All of the storm giants. Yep. See, uh, man, I could have been a disaster if I had. Uh, well, let's do this because hopefully this also turns my uh, these things back into mountains, which is nice. Can't force negation. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, we'll pillage that. 
be kind of kind of essential to do that. Alrighty. So, yeah, two turn clock just off the hate bears. Let's see. Well, it happens, I guess, you know. All right. Anyway, uh, all right. Next. All right. So, uh, you know, makeshift bonus uh, replacement match five because, uh, yeah, match five basically was just a dud. Um, we did end up. Well, yeah, we did end up trophying, um, but uh, match five was a was a nothing burger because um, literally we both played two lands and the opponent uh, disconnected and timed out. So, um, to make things more interesting, we will play. We will play a fifth uh, bonus match in the two mans uh, to round it out um, because I just I just couldn't show that. That's just like that's not what you guys come to see, you know. Alrighty. All right. Well, end of the bugbear. I mean, they mulligan to oblivion, so I, I don't know that this counts that much more, but. You know, maybe they play a few more cards and we feel a little bit better. Ooh, well, that that could definitely still end up. Uh, we could still end up in a world of hurt, even with only. Well, we have main deck relic. Maybe we spike it off the top. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, Archon has just got to be, got to be where it's at. Well, if, at least if they play Archon, we can, uh, we can maybe lightning bolt fury. It's not ideal, but you know, it's better better than just dying. Mm -hmm. If we land Blood Moon, we may just lock him out. So let's see. Alrighty. Alright, let's see if we can moon him. Alright, I think we mooned him. I think, by George, I think we mooned him. Alright, it's a little anticlimactic, but we did, in fact, moon him. Alrighty. Uh, Ensnaring Bridge, I think, is going to be a decent uh, failsafe if they do get through the Graveyard Hate. Um, 
I think Magus of the Moon is pretty good. I don't know, Bone Crusher. Uh, they, they, they might be playing um, Stoneforge Mystic, in which case I think Pillage is definitely where we want to be. Uh, I don't know that we need Flame Slash. Let's see. Do we need all four hammers? Do we need all the furies? Probably not. <sighs> probably two bone crushers is probably fine. Uh, although I'm a little bit worried about pro red creatures since they do have white. Yeah, I guess spell bomb it is. Do we want to? Do we really need to go all in with the blood moons? Maybe we can go six blood moons for our pyrites. Yeah, whatever. You know, just worried about drawing too many blood moons, maybe, so they're not helpful. I don't know, tough to say. Okay. I'll play this. Alright, well we got an ensnaring bridge. So I think we'll keep since we got a decent uh, fail safe. We have a decent fail safe. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, and maybe Blood Moon gets him again, although I can't imagine that they hold to Blood Moon twice in a row. Seder. Seder, Seder, Pumpkin Eater. Alrighty. Yeah, we we got we got the three drops. Mm-hmm. Trying to ephemerate or something with Wayfinder. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try to go for Blood Moon. I mean, why wouldn't I? Seems like the thing the cool kids are doing and hopefully shuts off flashback. Alrighty. Maybe I don't need a uh, um, snaring bridge anymore. It's kind of tough to say. Let's just do this. I mean, I think I have to ditch it. All their creatures get under it. Yeah, Ragavan, I think. in the USA. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm a little worried about uh, about Force of Vigor. So I can clear this out of the way. Which, you know, is what it is. Alright, so we, just like that, we evened up the score. Ooh, could we play Rhino? No, we can't play Rhino. We could, if that was white, but, uh, but alas. Oh, 
Alrighty. Well, that was also maybe a little bit... Yeah, this was maybe also not necessarily the most riveting <laughs> game. I mostly just Blood Moon about two games in a row, but... Hey, at least this was more than just playing two lands. Like, they play, they play a land, I play a land, they play a land, I play a land. They, they disconnect and time out. So, alright. Hopefully this was more enjoyable. Alright, uh, post-league wrap-up time. Alright. Uh, alright, uh, post-league post -league, uh, wrap-up. So, yeah, you know, I think... Uh, I think we definitely showed that we have pretty good game against Hammer Time. I mean, geez, we played Hammer Time three times. I know, I know, uh, one of them doesn't count, and one of them was Orsov Hammer Time, which, which loses way harder to Blood Moon than the traditional mono white version, which doesn't actually fold to Blood Moon at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you know, we were probably going to take a loss that first game against, uh, you know, game five with Hammer Time. Uh, so it is kind of nice that we managed to bring it around, or I, I, by that I mean. They just kind of timed out, so they still got the trophy. But, you know, I mean, given our track record in Hammer Time, I, 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 I was fairly confident we could bring it around in games two and three. Um, but, yeah, hey, we and we took a game off against Abzan Reanimator in the bonus match to fill out, uh, you know, to fill out the league, since obviously that, that third Hammer Time match, like, literally, I mean, it was kind of, you know, developing, like, a problem for us because they played Sigarda's Aid and... Well, we were stuck on three mana. It was looking like we were going to be stuck on three mana. If we had another land on top, then then I think could have been anybody's game. But you know, uh, yeah, not sure what else to say other than just that uh, I think this is another build to explore. I think it's kind of between the Dragon Rage Channeler or the Bone Crusher builds. I don't think I would really. I don't think I can cut any other cards. It's weird that we would cut Dragon Rage Channeler, but Dragon Rage Channeler has some things working against it. It doesn't turn into a 3-3 automatically. It has some dissynergy with Relic, and Relic comes in a freaking lot, so much so that we're even main decking it now. Like, I'm talking about the other version. Um, since it doesn't turn into a 3-3, like, constantly, uh, it we are more vulnerable to getting, like, blown out by Fury or, like, or like Sweepers or whatever it is. And you aim at Anger the Gods still, but, you know... Um, but yeah, like against uh, Fury, it's just a it's a blowout. A lot of decks are playing Fury nowadays. Um, Bone Crusher is also just insane value in gas. We don't have to play any fetch land, so you know we obviously we're still probably better off against Burn with a uh, Dragon Race Channeler because we can have a faster clock. But uh, uh, but on the other hand, at least we uh, don't have to play any lands that uh, deal damage to us or make us lose life. So if we're playing, if we're not playing Drag Race Channel, we don't. There's no need to play fetches, so we can play these nifty Needle Verge pathways, which, you know, realistically, they're probably not going to end up doing anything. <laughs> um, in fact, you know, nah, I'll leave them. I'll leave them here for now. But let me see here. Now, you know what? I, th I think these should just become basic basic mountains. You, you just never know if like the game goes really long and they keep pathing us and we draw these. I, I, I think you just uh, can't underestimate how valuable um, basics are. I, I just I highly doubt that those are really going to do anything. But I can definitely see myself running low on basics if the game goes really, really long. And if they force me to fetch out a number of basics with, like, I don't know, stuff... Yeah, it, it, it happens. Uh, it, it definitely happens that we, um, yeah, that we fetch out a lot of basics. I, I, I think those those are probably just too cute. It definitely feels like we can fit more lands in, but I don't want anything that comes into play tapped. I don't want more colorless, and that and there's really nothing else. I mean, Den of the Bugbear is the only other card that kind of could fit in because it, uh, it's the only card that basically comes into play tapped in the most vital turns at least produces red it's not colorless um other than that like yeah i think we're probably just stuck with uh with the basics but yeah um yeah if you like the, this league then you know subscribe we got more more like this that i'm sure will be will be in the future and uh yeah it's been a blast <laughs> we got another trophy and we even played a bonus match to kind of feel like we deserved it um 
it's a good thing we won. I was planning to just to kind of go with it, even if I didn't win that bonus match, but we did win it. So it was kind of like, kind of like a five zero for real, you know? So yeah. All right, cool stuff. Let's uh, hope that we can continue to do well. Take care, everybody.